Bienvenidos a Marihuana Now, el programa para la gente que le gusta la hierba. Si eres un amante del cannabis y vas a Berlín, tienes una parada obligada en el Hanf Museum, sin duda el punto de encuentro clave del activismo y un lugar repleto de historia y cultura canábica. Allí conocimos a Ferdinand, que nos mostró el museo, y a Martin, el promotor de la Hanf Parade. Hi, I'm Martin from Hanf Parade. I'm with the organization since 20 years. And the so Hanf Parade itself, it's a big march for the legalization of cannabis here in Berlin for whole Germany. So all the people come together for the big march. And yeah, we are in the 25th year now. It's a big anniversary. Something is moving in Germany. The political parties changed who are in the government and the new government wants to legalize cannabis so yeah we are expecting new changes here uh, in the 70s and the 80s with the students movement in western germany so they were influenced by hippie culture from the us and having having long hair so uh, it was a big shame for the Uh, elders that they use have long hair and sitting around doing nothing and smoking hashish all the day. So, uh, yeah, there was repression against the movement from the Yaws. So, now yeah, the uh, students were marching against the war in Vietnam and stuff. And here the government and the authorities searched some reason to get them into the prison and get them out of the way. So yeah, they found something what everyone smokes, so uh, everything everyone consumes, and it was uh, hashish and cannabis at this time. So they uh, and strengthened the law. They uh, hired the prison time for small delicts in the 70s and 80s. So uh, yeah, now with the liberalization, it's a yeah, huge movement into the right direction, so, but uh, I believe the stigmata will keep on years and years. In the 90s there were people yeah, in the age of 30s and yeah, they were influenced also by the movements in the 70s and 80s with the, uh, in the community. And then some groups formed like the Hanf e.V. who makes the Hanf Museum here. The Hanf Parade formed in the 90s, the uh, Grüne Hilfe Netzwerk, the Green Help, who is giving legal advice. Um, yeah, that was the first wave of organizations here in Germany organizing some kind of organized demonstrations, marches, informations. No, also, the Grow magazine started in this time. And yeah. Then the, uh, in Germany, we had some time uh, growing head shops, and it was really good because they could sell seeds. But then in the 90s, uh, the law changed, and also the seeds was forbidden in Germany, and many many shops uh, gone out of business, and the uh, movement also shrunk because yeah, everyone looking for a new job. So in 2000. There was a new wave, uh, like Deutsche Hanfverband started to work. In these times, the, the Hanfparade lift were bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller, and many things changed. So, yeah, here at Hanfparade, we are looking what is happening in the world. With the commerce in the US, for example, we can see what's happening there. So, for example, just a small example is they have many, many magazines about the best stuff. So, what you can get at the dispensaries there and the dispensaries there. And you have uh, like rebate compounds on a pound of wheat or something here. And at this special day, you can get this and this. And so, yeah, and there are five magazines like this and it's exploding. So, but it was yeah, hidden like 100 years, so it's a very 
interesting to see what's gonna go on then. But also we can see what's on the even more dark side, like they have uh, their companies who are uh, lobbying against legalization, against uh, growing by yourself and other things, or companies who treat their workers bad, things like that. So, and it's in the news and the media, so um, we can look for that and, yeah, if we think that, uh, uh, like, if they're treating the workers bad and they don't do anything about it, they should not attend Hanfparade. So, yeah, we are also have some, yeah, buzzes here, which we want to make and, yeah, equal rights everywhere, so, yeah. Something will happen, we don't know what, so they have some, uh, working places created with people working on the laws, drafting the law. So, and yeah, in the on home we will see something on paper, I believe. Y si queréis saber más sobre la regulación del cannabis en Alemania y Europa, estad atentos a nuestros próximos programas. Y este septiembre vuelve Expo Grow. Este verano llega el calor y las deliciosas rebajas. Entra en deliciosits.com y disfruta de un descuento del 50% en las compras de cualquiera de sus variedades. Desde las genéticas más emblemáticas como la Sugar Black Rose a las últimas novedades, Movie, Bay Burger, descubre el catálogo de Delicious Seeds y no dejes pasar esta oportunidad. Ya sabes, life is delicious. Con esto terminamos por hoy y recordad, la semana próxima publicamos el nuevo Marihuana News, el 123, con toda la actualidad canábica y los mejores consejos para tu cultivo. Sed buenos y muy buenos humos.